Hey everybody, it's Cynthia coming to you with a rare on-camera haul. Um, we go thrifting at least once a week, and I always intend to make a haul video because we find some really cool things, and I think we could, um, A, do some blasts in the past memories for you, or B, help you discover more things that you can put on eBay and help you learn to sell better on eBay. Um, but every time I think about doing it, the camera and the everything, so... This is my new attempt at trying to do these quicker, faster, and if you like them, please give me a thumbs up or give me a comment. Let me know you like them and we'll do more and more of them because uh, we really love sharing our hauls with you. So today, it's a Memorial Day weekend, almost. It's Thursday. We went to um, our local Salvation Army, which we used to frequent all the time, but stopped going to, ironically, um, they had a remodel, and after they did the remodel, their stock wasn't as good as it used to be. They used to have a lot of cheap stuff, so we actually <laughs> preferred it back then. Uh, the store is lovely, and it's cleaner. Uh, in the last few weeks, we've been spending time going further south and checking out some stores we hadn't been at before, and sadly, I didn't show you any of those things from those halls. They were pretty major. So here we were back at our old stomping grounds, and we found some fun things, um, most of which, <laughs> I just realized, we're keeping, such as this. Um, so this is a Hallmark um, Captain Picard. Now, here's the really funny thing about this. So we have a huge, our entire tree, Christmas tree, is spaceships and retro toys and things like that. So here he is, Captain Picard from Star Trek Next Generation. Very nice Hallmark ornament and um, still in the box, which you'd think would be, wow, how rare and unusual uh, it was. $2.60, 50 cents, at um, Salvation Army. And here's a funny thing. When I first found them, there were two laying there in really bad boxes. I looked them up on my phone and found out they're only worth about $2, which is kind of sad. I mean, I can't believe these Hallmark ornaments that used to go for so much money. Um, I don't know, for whatever reason, this one, Picard, he's not that popular. So as we looked around the store, you can see it's still in its package. As we looked around the store, we found about 20 more of these, no joke. Now, if they had been worth even $5 or $9, I might have bought a whole bunch of them. Um, what looks like happened, because some of the boxes were kind of molding, it looks like somebody had a case of them, probably at a Hallmark store, and the case got damaged, water damage, and they donated the entire case to Goodwill, to Salvation Army. So some of the ones that were in the front of the case were in not too bad shape. The ones in the back were pretty destroyed. So we only bought one for ourselves. We didn't have him for our tree. We have some other ones. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to regret that I should have bought more. But again, the prices were so bad. It seems silly to do that. But so Captain Picard. Um, if you need Captain Picard, let me know. Maybe I can still go back and get more. This was, we found two really big finds um, that are going to, should really flip for a lot of money. This one, let me put my glasses on for a second. So this is a Kennedy Center's Honors DVD. It's still sealed, as you can see. It's from 2012. And it's honoring Barbara Cook, Neil Diamond, Yo-Yo Ma, Sonny Rollins, and Meryl Streep. So this is an Emmy screener. Get the glare off of it. Uh, which, what this is, is that the year this was out on CBS, they submitted this to the Emmys to get an award, and they sent the DVDs around to people who had the ability to vote for the Emmys. Um, that's what Emmy screeners are. And these things used to be really rare and sell for a ton of money, not so much this one, but Emmy screeners in general. They don't sell for as much as they used to. I think because DVDs have just become so popular that they're, again, not as hot as they used to be. Um, or maybe people just don't care about TV as much as they used to. But because this one has a couple of celebrities and it's still sealed, uh, I saw another one selling for about $30. So we paid $2.50 for this at Salvation Army, and we should be able to flip it for 25 or more. So that's a great find. Another one in our keeper pile, which um, might almost went to uh, be selling eBay, is this sweet little Disneyland, original Disneyland photo album. Now, it's kind of the old school photo albums, which, you know, not everybody 
um, uses anymore. There's a picture of my husband and his brother when they were very little. Another picture of them as teens. Um, it's a very nice album with this sort of retro Disneyland look. We love Disney. And it's in super condition. Um, it was still sealed on the inside. The, the um, pages still had their wrap around them, so it's never been used. Um, somebody must have got it as a gift, thinking they were going to put their Disneyland pictures in it, and then realized it wasn't sufficient, and didn't. So we actually got this for only $1.50, which is pretty amazing. Um, usually anything with Disney on it, they up the price on. I did not look this up online to sell, because we decided to keep it. Um, but I imagine it probably would sell... Oh gosh, it's sold for at least ten dollars. I know photo albums are kind of hit and miss again because not that many people do photos anymore. So that um, let me go back out of these. The first thing I found when I got there is they were putting out a ton of Christmas stuff. Yes, Christmas. And I got this really cute Snoopy Christmas stocking. It's very old school, like an old knitted stocking. Double-sided, got a nice fluffy pom-pom. There's the hanger. We love Snoopy. Uh, I'd, I'd be tempted to keep it, actually. It'd be a really cute decoration. Um, looks like we could flip it. I paid 99 cents for it. And um, I should be able to flip it for 14 or more. A few of them actually did just sell, so I'm, it sounds like a whole a lot of these actually went out to Salvation Armies all over the place. New old stock. Um, I don't know how old it actually is. Let me see if it's on the tag. I was going to, oh, so some people sold it, it says Snoopy 1958, that's obviously not right, but it's a fairly old looking tag, it looks like Ambassador, this could be vintage, oh no, it's from Hallmark Cards, so it's not that vintage, so actually it's a fairly newer piece from Hallmark, <laughs> so I guess they got, looks like they got stock from a lot of Hallmark stuff, Hallmark store. Um, anyway, somebody sold one recently for only like $5 or $6. I think they had it at auction thinking they were going to get a lot more. We'll probably put it up at $14 and $19 and leave it up till the holidays. And um, even though they are selling right now, Soupy's pretty popular, especially for the holidays. Um, and it's in really great shape. So I think we'll probably be able to get minimally $15 for that, plus shipping, so maybe around $19. Our new favorite crazy thing to buy, I've gotten totally bananas with, are masks. Dare I put it on? Let's see. It's, this is a... <laughs> now I'm like a Chewbacca woman, <laughs> which I had no intention when I put it on. But hey, this actually fits me pretty cool. Let's see the back, the front. So I've been on this costume binge lately, which may come back to bite me. I don't know. But I love Halloween and I love Halloween costumes and I love Halloween all year round. So I've been picking up things. So this is a um, Mario, I'm just going to say it wrong, Chodo, maybe? Let's see if I can get it here. Mario Chodo Studios mask. And this one's called Lab Monster. And it is um, an open face mask. So as you can see, it means your face still shows and this goes on top of your head, which is pretty cool because we have some masks that are not... They go over your face, and I can't stand those. But it's it's a very nice quality mask. Um, so some of his masks sell for in the $30 range. What I'm going to do while you're on with me is have patience. One second. Mario, C-H-I-O-D-O, studios.com. Let's see if it's still new. A lot of times these... Um, Websites don't work on these things. Uh, but anyway, I looked it up in the store, and some of the... I think this particular mask sold for about $30 last on eBay, and some of his other ones uh, sell for a whole lot more. So it looks like his the website doesn't exist anymore, so it looks like he's out of business. But... Wow, they were selling his masks on QVC. Mask department. Yeah, he made some really cool masks. Um, I'm going to run back over to eBay. I'm on my uh, iPad here, or I would let you have a look at what I'm doing. So right now, a couple of his masks, some of his full head masks, are up for about $50, $40, $50, $20. 
very neat. He makes some dragon masks. They're very cool. Uh, I don't see this particular one. As I said, this one's called Lab Monster. Uh, now, this is a good thing. Here's a good tip for you. Uh, when we were at the store, I did try looking him up, but when I tried looking it up specifically, I usually start with specifics, and then I backed out to look for just anything from this gentleman, this this mask maker, to see how he sells in general. Um, yeah, I did. The last one just sold mm, about a month ago for 26 bucks, uh, and it was also still on the cart. So it's from 2004, so it's fairly old. Um, what was my point? My point was... I didn't see this exact mask, but I saw other ones from this maker and knew that they were really good quality and they were selling well. So I knew it would be worth the choice. Now, what was interesting is there was no price on it, which is unusual at Salvation Army. So we took it up to the front and asked them, um, and incredibly, she told me, only three fifty. So I think closer to Halloween, they probably would have charged me a lot more for it. For whatever reason, Salvation Army's been putting out a lot of Halloween stuff lately, which excites me to no end. So got it for three fifty. Should be able to flip it minimally. For $26, that's what I went for before. And I bet if we get closer to Halloween, I can probably flip it for 30 to 40 While you're there, I do have one more thing to show you, but I'm going to reach one other thing. Speaking of masks, stay there. Don't go away. I'll be right back. This is a mask we picked up at a uh, garage sale this week. Do I dare? I feel way too tobacco womanish. Um, there we go. Oh, God, this is disgusting. <laughs> I don't think. How do people wear these things all day long? So this is a pumpkin, obviously a pumpkin mask, but what's really cool about it is these lights, eyes light up. There's a battery pack uh, here that uh, we haven't checked yet, so the, the eyes might not work, but I think it will because the, the, the person we got it from took really good care of their stuff, and I think they just got tired of it. So excellent pumpkin mask. This one also should sell anywhere 30, 40, or more range. Um, yeah, we should do really well with this one. So we have that, we have this, and we have tons of costumes in our store. I've gone a little costume crazy considering it's only May, but Comic-Con's coming and people like to dress crazy for Comic-Con as well too. So if you're interested in these masks, check our store, Boris Basement, you'll find the link below. The last thing I want to show you was our best find. It was really amazing. My husband's a model builder. He's a big fan of Tamiya. We actually live really close to where Tamiya used to be. We found this model kit. It was a big box at the very bottom. This is Here's your other eBay tip for the day. Don't just look at eye level. That's where the stuff is that people have picked through. Look below, look under. This box was stuffed on the Shelf with stationary supplies and a couple of toys and some backpacks and there was all kinds of paper and crap on top of it. I just recognized the side of the box when I looked down because we have a lot of models around here. And usually models, when you find them at the Salvation Army, the Goodwill, are just destroyed. But look at this one. Let me show you. Come on with me. I'm going to take you over. Oh, I have to flip you around, which I don't know if I can do Ooh, when I'm on here. Well, we'll have to do this the funny way. All right, we'll do it this way. So here, can I do it this way? So this is what we found. Grand Slam Bomber, Tamiya. Now, he took the stickers off already, but there was a sticker here that was covered with another sticker that said $25. Then there was another Salvation Army sticker that said $11. We were hoping for 11 but look at the inside of this box. Let me see if I can get you. Hmm. Might have to do this in a different way. Everything is in this box sealed, including this piece over here. I don't know if I'm, you're getting it. Uh, I know I'm doing this the dumb way. This piece, which when I look, even I looked at that and went, that is something special. There's some, they're little electrical wires, so that means this model kit does something. When we saw that it was still in the, in the plastic, that no one had ever taken this out, he knew it was worth a lot of money, but I looked it up just to see. Uh, used on Amazon, which we could probably have to call it, because, you know, we have to, is $123. One sold for about 70 
on eBay, and we don't even know what condition that was in. So there's no question that we're going to be able to, that this thing is worth in the $7,200 range. Now, um, the price, as we said, it said 25 and it said 11 Now, even 25 would have been a really great price to pay for it if we can flip it for, we can make 100 profit, just about 100 profit, uh, or at the minimally, okay, let's, let's be reasonable, we could make minimally $50 probably profit on it at the 25 rate. We took it up to the counter, and when there's two stickers, I'm always afraid they think that I stuck the other sticker on there just to you know, try to get the price lower. Um, but they looked, and they said, yeah, we'll go with the 11 price. Now, afterward, we peeled away the $25 sticker and saw underneath was a handwritten $50 sticker from someone that looked like it was a garage sale that they had put this out at $50. And either when the person didn't buy it, no one bought it at 50, they donated it to charity, or the person who bought it donated to charity. However, it ended up in our hands for a mere $11, a practically new, electrically powered, expensive Tamiya airplane model, because we went to the Salvation Army today, which we weren't going to go to, but we did. So uh, we had a pretty good day. So in addition to all the small stuff and the stuff we were going to keep, so we spent, uh, I think it was about $22. And if everything sells at just average price, we should make, let's say, 60, 70, 80, 90, 130, there's about 100, $140 sale price so we paid 22 so we'll clear over a hundred dollars even after our um, fees we should clear a hundred dollars on all this and we get a Christmas ornament for our tree a photo album and maybe Christmas stocking for ourselves so that's what I've got for you this week uh, I'm gonna said try to be back in here every week if you want to see our haul next week leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up leave me something and come on over and visit us at Boris Basement and also, if you have questions about eBay, go ahead and ask them, too. We've been doing this for a really long time. I think we've got 4,000 feedback right now, and we're still going strong. So tell us about your eBay finds. We'd love to hear what you got at the thrift store this week.